Welcome back to Pine Bluffs High School, everybody. The Pine Girls winners earlier here, 57 to 30 over Lust. Now it's time for the boys game and our final regular season Kerm Siegwack of the Game of the Week uh, broadcast here for you. Also, you can view this ball game on YouTube. Just search KGOS Sports. You'll find us right there. We'll get right to the starting lineups here. They are brought to you by Simply Real Estate. Whether you're buying or selling, Simply Real Estate has a team of realtors that will make sure the process is as simple and stress-free as possible. Give them a call, 338-3069, or stop by the office. Simply Real Estate, they make real estate simple for you. Here's how the homestanding Pine Bluffs Hornets will come out. The boys are 8-12 and 12 on the year, but a very important 3-1 and one in Class 2A Southeast Conference play coached by Tyler Kimsey. They'll come out 5'10", sophomore Karsten Freeberg, 5'10", junior Justin Lerwick, 6'0", junior Sean Schmidl, 6'1", senior Wyatt Carter, and 6'0", senior Nathan Pace. So I'll send it over to Mike here for a look at your other starters for Lust. Lust will go this way. Brueger, Smith, Miller, Matthews, and got to check one, a uh, different one in there. Jackson Smith, I got that one. We're underway. We'll get you those starters here in just a moment. It'll be Pine Bluffs basketball and Lusk in the tight man-to-man D. As Freeberg will dribble it down to the paint, try to kick it back out, almost taken away. Diving on the floor for it is Matthews. He can't come up with it. Here's the baseline jumper up and no good. Rebound Freeberg and he's fouled. Nice job. They get, uh, they've got Mitchell Burkhofer in there as a starter, a senior. He wasn't even on the roster, but gets a start here tonight as one of their seniors. He missed the baseline jumper, but Freeberg got fouled on the putback. We might need to move that little roster yours, Mike, right in between us here so we go. can catch his number. Now he'll sit down. As Lerwick will check into the lineup. Yeah, they're going to leave Burkhofer. No, they're going to. He's going to stay in there, isn't he? Mitchell Burkhofer, 5'11 senior. Freeberg got the first free throw. Second one good as well. Pine with the early 2 0 lead. And they'll apply pressure here to the Tigers. Matthews with it at the top. Going to work on Carter. We'll go right side with it. Here's Bruger. Leading scorer for the Lust Tigers. Now Kupke with it near side. He'll wing it around over to Smith, right side on the outside. No seams there for the Tigers. They'll continue to work it around. Here's Beery. Now in the corner it goes Brueger, stuck there. Has to kick it back out. Smith with it at the top. Good defense here for Pine. Now they'll work it around. Kupke will try the three. That's off, no good. Rebound, fought for, and... It'll be Burkhofer pulling it down for the Hornets. Nice that, job defensively there for Pine. That brings an appreciative clap from the crowd. So here's Pine's second possession. Pace with it out top. Now hands off to Carter. Right side, it'll go to Freeberg. Here's Lerwick with it at the top. Will fake on the give. He'll drive left side, sealed off there, and an offensive foul on Justin Lerwick. Great job down there by Jackson. Smith held his ground, drew the charge. Uh, Lerwick's first. So your standings, Class 2A boys. Lusk in the lead with a 4-1 and one quadrant mark. Pine right behind him in second, 3-1. and one. And all the way to the hole goes Corey Brueger laid up good. Well, somebody better check him at the top because he never broke stride. Easy layup for Brueger. Pine will get it across. Wide open on the near side's Carter. Couldn't handle it. And it'll be taken away by the Tigers. Cup key across the timeline. He'll hand it to Brueger right side on the outside. Tough move. We'll kick it back out now to Smith. Right Lusk side, it goes to Kupke. Sorry, Grant. Lus coming off a loss at Southeast. This is kind of a big game for them. Need to get their uh, need to get their program righted here again. Turnaround, tough shot in paint. No good by Beery. 
And rebound will come way out. It's going to be a foul on Lusk. Pieri will pick up the personal that is his first. Second team foul on the Tigers, just one on the Hornets. We got a two to two ball game here, 520 left first quarter. There's Pace with it. Gets it to Lurick, right, right back to Pace. As the Hornets will size up the Tigers here. Cross court it now to Schmittel. On the dribble, will use a pick, go in the corner with it. Right back to him, couldn't handle the snap pass. Schmittel has it taken away, Matthews on the run. Matthews in paint, tough left hander up. Too strong, off the back of the iron, no good. And then a reach and a foul on the rebound on Lusk. Cup key picking this one up. Matthews will want that nope. one back. He had a point blank bunny there, couldn't convert. Who was the foul on? I was going to say it was on Smith. That's his second. Jackson Smith in foul trouble here. We'll see how Coach Ed Fulmer wants to handle that. He'll get some subs back in the game. Almost an over and back call on the Hornets, but they retain possession. Here's a three ball try. No good on the far side by Freeburg. Ripped down by the Tigers. Still just two to two. Low scoring affair here at Pine Bluffs High School. Three ball on the way. No good by Smith. Rebound Pine Bluffs. Both teams yeah. playing great defense so far. Pace over to Freakburg. Bumped and fouled, and the shot is good. Well, he went right at Corey Bruger. Bruger will pick up the personal. Karsten <laughs> Freeberg has all of Pine Bluff's first quarter points here midway through. And he'll go to the line with a chance to add to it. So Miller will check back into the lineup along with Corbin Matthews replacing Bruger and Matthews. Interesting, leaving Smith out there with the two personals? Looks like. Okay. Actually, Matthews will stay in. Aiden Matthews and Bieri will come out. Free throw rolls in, shooter's touch for Karsten Freeberg. He has all five of Pine Bluff's points. Now the Hornets get a big steal. Here's Pace across the timeline. He'll hand to Freeburg, gonna work the left side now. Lerwick deep three, that's off no good. Rebound fought for, out of bounds, it'll stay with Pine. Nice job by Pace of keeping that alive on the backside there. Yeah, Lerwick was three steps behind the arc. Caitlin um, Clark range, yes, right? Yes. Three ball in the corner, Freeburg, that's off no good. Pine hustles the rebound down though. Back out it comes. Here's Lerwick with it on a string out top. Now over to Pace. Defended well there by Matthews. Now in the corner it goes Lerwick. Back up top now to Schmittel. Looking underneath, finds his guy. This is going to be a three-second violation against Travis Lerwick. I wasn't sure if they were going to call the three or the push-off. He gave a pretty yep. good shove to create space there. Boy, when that whistle sounded, that's what I thought it was. Mm -hmm. Better overall for Lerwick. Quickly down the floor, Lust throws it away. Had it deep inside the paint. Now back the other way it goes and Pace will lay it up good. Tough shot by Pace, gets the uh, bucket in transition. Seven to two, Pine leads. Top seed in the quadrant, stunned so far here in Pine Bluffs. At the top. Here's Nathan Miller with it. Outside it goes Smith. Over to Matthews. Aiden's three ball is good. They kind of needed that one. They Actually, they really needed that one. Matthews with his first bucket. That brings the Tigers to within two. And a big steal by Matthews. Aiden to the rack. Put it up. No good, but he's fouled. So Matthews with back-to-back -back big uh, possessions here will go to the free throw line as... Fornstrom will get ready to check in. That is Cade Fornstrom for Pine. Foul's going to go on Schmidl first personal. Matthews, two free, first one good. So Fornstrom and Wyatt Carter check back in for Pine. 
2.46 to go. Matthews with the chance to tie this one at seven. Schmidl with that foul will be out. Second one on the way by Matthews. That's off. No good. Sky and high for the board is, uh, board is Wyatt Carter. Pine will have to break a little pressure here. And they've got it across to pace. Now Lerwick with it. Cross that goes Freeberg, burns everybody, lay it up good. Yeah, Freeberg does such a great job of using his quickness out there. Gets a step and lays it up and in. Cup key across the timeline. 9-6 Pine. Two minutes and change left here in the first. Smith with it up top. Left side it goes, whistle away from the ball, and it'll be an offensive moving screen on the part of the Tigers. Nathan Miller will pick up the personal as Corey Brueger and Quentin Bieri come back into the lineup. Yeah, Keith saw something he didn't like right there in the lane and whistled the moving screen. Zone trap here being applied. Pine trying to break it. It'll go to Freeberg. Ahead it goes and over the head and out of bounds over Wyatt Carter. So let me ask you, Dr. Jones, does number 10 look like several other Fornstrom's that have played for this Pine program in the last eight years? Spinning image. Yes, he is. The last one, I believe. Here's Brueger with it left side outside. Across it goes over to Kupke. Flex offense being ran by Ed Fulmer's squad. And here's a nice elbow shot by Quentin Beery. Drills that one, his first two. And Tigers now just trailing by one, 9-8. Here's Fornstrom. In the corner it goes now Freeberg, long three. That's good. Well, you, just, you can't give him a step of any kind. He now has 10. That bumps the Pine lead back to four here as we're approaching a minute to play in the first. Here's Kupke, dribbles in. Sealed off nicely there by Pace. He'll wing it back outside to Matthews. Corbin will now get it up top now to Brueger. Around it comes to Kupke. Left side and a foul underneath. We're going to get another moving screen on Miller. That's going to be his second. Two Lush Tigers now in foul trouble, and Pine should actually be shooting the bump. Well, no, not on a player control or a possession foul. You're going to get people free a lot of times on a flex offense, but that's one of the problems with it right there is very high chance, high degree difficulty with moving screens. That's the second on Miller alone. Schmidl, now Freeberg drives in off the glass. Good. Karsten having a game so far for the Hornets. Back the other way. Here's Corbin Matthews. Out it comes to Miller. Now turnaround. Brueger stops. Fires from 10. That's off. No good. Big rebound underneath there by Wyatt Carter for Pine Bluffs. 20 seconds to play. Pine up six. Left side pass. It'll go to Carter in paint. Hang with the right hand. And draws the foul. Wyatt Carter has done a nice job, not only on the defensive glass, but asserting himself into the offense. He will shoot a pair of free throws here. Personal foul is number two on Quentin Bieri. Carter two free. First one rattles around and off. No good. And we will have Burkhofer back in here for Tyler Kimsey's squad. Second one by Carter, rims off as well. It'll go out of bounds to who? Lusk. Yeah, Lerwick tapped it out. 14 seconds to go in the quarter here. And here comes Kupke. Cross the timeline. Dribble right side. Corner three on the way, no good by Miller. Put back up and no good. Out of bounds, it'll go to stay with the... Tigers just point eight left on the clock here. So need a quick touch and a shot if you're a Tiger fan. Matthews will throw it in. In it comes. Cupkey lets it fly. No good. 
And so, we've reached the end of the first quarter here at Pine Bluffs High School. It's the home standing Hornets with the early lead. Pine Bluffs 14, Lusk 8. And we'll be back to Pine Bluffs High School after this. Texas Trail Market in Pine Bluffs has all you'll need to feed the family. Shop today and find quality meat, fresh produce, and all of your frozen favorites. Be sure to check their website, texastrailmarket.com, for sales and online coupons. Texas Trail Market in Pine Bluffs, a proud sponsor of Pine Bluffs activities and proud to help you feed the family. For as long as you have dealt with your dry eyes, would you believe that it could take just four appointments to find relief? Optilite by Luminous uses patented OPT technology to safely and effectively address one of the main causes of dry eye, inflammation. Safe, gentle, and effective. It's the first and only FDA-approved IPL for dry eye management. To schedule a consultation, visit our website or call our office today. Torrington Vision Source, Drs. Grant and Linda Jones on M Street in Torrington. Grant Jones, Mike McNamee, Ryan Kaith alongside. Final Kerm Seawack game of the week. Regular season broadcast getting all set for tournament play for you. Down this way next week. Burns the host, Pine Bluffs the secondary gyms. And don't forget Class 1A will be in Laramie. Grant and Mark will have those broadcasts for you. Big slate of games coming your way. You'll hear the schedule once we get teams announced. 14 to eight as Pine will take a six point lead into the second quarter here. Lusk with the basketball. Smith open for three, passes on it. Tough move in the paint, gets it rejected by Carter. Lusk comes up with it. Still with possession, here's Corbin Matthews right side outside. In the corner now, Bruger. Around to Aiden Matthews, wanted to fire. Now Corbin, right side on the perimeter, pass deflected away, and it'll go out of bounds and stay with the Tigers. Pines play great defense. Yeah, uh, I, I'm impressed. Never giving, especially on the perimeter, Lusk anything really to look at. Tigers can't find their way through it, can they? No. Out it comes. Top of the key, Corbin Matthews. Bruger. Now here's Beery with two personals. Underneath, Matthews puts it up good. That's Aiden's sixth point of the game. Nice patience in that possession there for Lusk. 14 to 10 now, Hornets. 6.55 left. Clark and Associates scoreboard here, second quarter. Now up top, here's Freeburg's had an outstanding game so far. All but two of the Pine Bluffs points so far. Long lead down low, too far off of the hands of Carter. Lust takes it away. Bruger on the run, to the rack and he's fouled. Nice job by Bruger of uh, recognizing pace off balance there. Bruger challenges him, he'll get to the free throw line. Pace's first free throw, or uh, first foul. So Corey Bruger, I said leading scorer earlier, he's actually second to Aiden Matthews. 13.8 points per game. Hits a free throw. To give him three, looking for four here. And to draw Pine within two, he's got it. Or Lusk within two. And a quick timeout, taken by Ed Fulmer, will break as well. Happy New Year. This is Al Maloney, General Manager at TransWest Ford in Scotts Bluff. With new inventory arriving daily, now it's time to take advantage of low APR financing on 2023 F-150, Escape, Explore, and Bronco Sport. Call or stop by to meet with our sales team today. Give our team a call at 308-635-3701 or visit us at TWFord.com. TransWest Ford. You've shot the rest, now buy from the best. Before you head out on your next road trip, 
Ties Pit Stop in Lingle invites you to stop in and stock up. They continue to serve the area with competitive gas prices, and they've got plenty of road trip snacks to choose from. With Coca-Cola products along with other hot and cold beverages, snacks, fresh entrees that are always hot and ready, and even adult beverages for the weekend. Ties Pit Stop on the corner in Lingle, locally and veteran owned and operated. Less with the basketball off the missed shot the other way as Matthews blows the layup. Pine with the basketball now. So missed opportunities both sides. Long three on the way. Freeburg from the corner. That's off no good. It's 14 to 12 actually our score. Not 14 to 11. Less just down two. Great move in the paint. Shot on the way up and no good by Corbin Matthews. And quickly back the other way as Wyatt Carter hits a slick patch on the floor and goes down, that'll be a travel. Lucky we didn't twist an ankle or something there. Yeah, Might have, a little bit. So a little, little sore bit. coming off. Yes. So, less basketball and travel in the backcourt. Jackson Smith will give it right back to the Tigers. Now Ed Fulmer, a little hot under the collar, will empty his bench. Yeah, a game that uh, seemed to move along and had nice rhythm early has stalled out a little bit. Neither team able to score of late here. Quarter score was 14 to eight. Pine has not scored here in the second quarter. Pace with it at the top. He'll run things up there. Now Freeburg, right side pass Lerwick. Justin will stop, kick it back out. Now to Travis Lerwick. Justin on the dribble. Goes to Freeburg at the top. Going to work on Kupke, can't get anywhere. Now here's a turnaround by Schmidl, that's good. Nice uh, motion there by Schmidl. Steps out there from 15, knocked down the jumper. Pine Bluff 16, Lust 12, 5, 10 left to go. Here's second quarter, Aiden Matthews left side outside for the Tigers. Around it comes, Matthews strike the pivot foot, travel on Lust. Ed doesn't like that one. I don't think uh, it looked to me like he set that pivot foot. Didn't drag it. Hornet basketball. Schmidl will hand to Freeburg. Magician with the basketball. Outside, Schmidl gonna try a three. That's off, no good. Rebound, Matthews goes down with it. Say he's gonna be reached in on and fouled by Pace. Late whistle there. Pace thought he got away with one, but they uh, whistling for the foul. So ball back to Lusk. I don't think that's where they want Schmidl shooting out there. Second personal on uh, Nathan Pace as Cade Fornstrom re-enters the ball game. Here's Matthews in the backcourt over to Kupke. Now double teamed in the forecourt. Right back to Matthews and Kupke will control things right side outside. Aiden Matthews, corner three, that's off, no good. Battle for the rebound will go to Lusk and a reach and a foul. On the Hornets, Travis Lerwick. Nice job by Rance Brott. Got in there and battled for the board. Picked up the foul, or uh, Freeburg picks up the foul his first. In it comes. It'll go to Matthews. Aiden stuck in paint. Tough shot up and good. And he was bumped. No foul called. Tigers draw to within two, 16-14. Midway point here, second quarter. Cade Fornstrom dribbles all the way in, lay it off glass, good. Yeah, another one of the Fornstroms that uh, sees an opportunity, able to get himself to the basket, knocks down the bunny. Top key backcourt, floats it across now, Aiden Matthews. Snap a pass down low. Johnny on the spot, Cade Fornstrom taps that pass out of bounds. It'll stay with Lusk. Yeah, he nearly got the steal there, didn't he? Brueger back in is... Corbin Matthews will sit. And also Travis Lerwick will take a break. Colby Lerwick, first action for him into the ball game. Matthews stops, fires a three, that skips off, no good. And over the back goes Reince Brott, 6'1 freshman. 
for the Tigers. Picks up his first. Yeah, it's just Cade Fornstrom doing a nice job of boxing out right there. He's in the backcourt. We'll go over to Schmidl. Across it comes. Fornstrom got a one-on-one. Oh, and Lewick's loose down low. Layup no good. Colby had all he wanted with that one. Back the other way we go. Matthews with it at the top. Now Cupke deep three. That's off no good. Rebound fought for. And now a push in the back by Corey Brueger. I believe. Let's see who they get. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and that's number three on, no, just number two. Third team, uh, second team foul on Lusk. Three on the Hornets. Well, we knew we'd have an evenly matched ball game here tonight. We certainly do. 18-14. Cross it comes. Fordstrom to the rack. Tough shot. Layup no good, but a foul. He'll go to the line. But Karsten Freeberg has such a quick first step. Gets himself to the basket. You know, a sign of a good player is how many free throws they uh, attempt. This will be number four and five for him. First one on the way, got it. Bumps the lead to five for the Hornets. Beery back in there now, replacing Brott for Ed Fulmer's squad. Freeberg toes the stripe once again. Second one skips off. No good. Rebound, Bruger. Pine 19, Lusk 14. Bruger has a seam. Nice look over to Beery. Shot off. No good. Rebound fought for. Controlled by Kupke. Lusk a second chance. Bruger at the top. Right side it goes, Kupke. Playing catch with Bruger. Thought about three. Goes to Matthews in the corner. Skip across, Kupke. Trying to find some room against the zone. We'll go back up top now to Bruger. Around it comes. Matthews will try the three. That's good. And he was fouled. They didn't call it. He got slapped pretty good. Now he gets a steal. Matthews takes it away. They're going to say his foot was on the near sideline. So wipe away the turnover. And it'll be pine ball. Just leading by two are the Hornets. Open three by Lerwick. That's off no good. Tapped out of bounds. And it will go to Lusk. I thought Beery Beery tapped it. Keith Grunewick said otherwise. Brugger in the backcourt over to Kupke. Right back to Brugger playing catch at the top, bringing it up the floor. Kupke with it. Ridge will back off on the dribble. Left side now, Bruger, double team, kick it back out. Kupke around Matthews. Lusk keeping it hot, but nowhere to throw it. Now Matthews for three, good. Wait, uh, Aiden Matthews with his third three. He has 14 and Lusk back on top. Real burst here by the Tigers as we work our way towards the end of the second quarter. They've got the one-point lead on the Hornets. Freeberg across the timeline, working the left side. Skip it across now, Fornstrom at the top. In the corner it goes Lerwick. Colby back out. Fornstrom trying to get it to Freeberg. Tapped out of bounds on a hustle play by Kupke. It'll stay with the Hornets. Wyatt Carter will come back into the lineup replacing Fornstrom. Freeberg to throw it in near side. Does so to Schmittel back in there. Around it comes Lerwick. Top of the key pass, Schmittel. Now Carter going to dribble down. Big collision down on the low block. They're going to get Lusk on the foul. And I think, Mike, that might have been a reach in by Beery before the collision. Unfortunately, that's his third. Not sure Ed knows it. He's leaving him in there. And around it comes. Freeberg going to drive baseline. Float up a 10-footer. That's off. No good. Tapped out of bounds. It'll stay with Pine Bluffs. With Matthews and Carter in a battle down low on that uh, for that board. Minute 18 left in the half. This one tapped away. Again, it will stay with the Hornets. Nothing's coming easy inside there, is it? Now they get it in. Lerwick 
Justin, turn around. That's short. Scoop back up and good by Carter. Great job by Wyatt Carter to get the board and the putback. Here's a turnaround in paint, up and no good. And the putback as well, no good. On left side of the floor, Freeburg out of there with it. Ahead it goes, Lerwick layup, blew that one. Fast pace back and forth. Here's Bruger in paint, Euro step. And fouled going to the hole. Going to get Carter with the personal. He thought he had a clean block. I'm not sure I don't agree with him. It will send Corey Bruger to the free throw line. He's two for two. It's Carter's first. Bruger can get the free throw. He'll get subbed out with a make. This to tie the ball game with 44 seconds left in the half. On the way, got it. Bruger out and Jackson Smith back in. Smith with two personals, six foot junior. Still even Beery out there with three. Tied at 21 in the corner it goes. Carter back around, Lerwick. Now free throw line, Justin turns, drives to the rack, put it up good. Nice spin, creates a little space, knocks down the bunny. First two for him, two point Hornet lead. A nice scoop up and good by Kupke, out of nowhere. Tight again, 16 seconds left. And Fornstrom will dribble this off his foot out of bounds. Boy, the pace is really picked up here. Now you see why I want to do the girls game. <laughs> Dump the boys game on you. We'll see if the voice holds. Yeah. It's out of shape. And out of the game comes Quentin Beery. Ed must have heard you. With three personals, he'll sit. Travis Lerwick returns. Quickly, Bruger all the way down. Two on two break off the glass. That's good. Hmm. Three seconds, two, they're gonna put, have to put up a desperation heave, that'll fall short, and the Lus Tigers, after being behind the majority of the first half, are gonna take a two-point lead into the locker room at halftime. At the half, Lus Tigers 25, Pine Bluffs Hornets 23, and a great one for you to round out our regular season broadcasts on Kerm FM and KGOS Sports on YouTube. Back for halftime stats after this. Lodgepole Valley Seed is a proud supporter of the Pine Bluffs Hornets and wish them the best of luck this fall sports season. Reach out to your local channel dealer to discover seedsmanship at work. Your local channel seedsman is Chris Fornstrom. Call Chris today at 307-274-2825. That's 274-2825. Proud to support the Hornets. Lodgepole Valley Seed in Pine Bluffs. As the seasons change, so do our banking needs. At Points West Community Bank, we have the experienced staff to help you year-round. From planting in the spring, growing in the summer, and harvest in the fall, we have you covered. Our local ag officers specialize in the agricultural needs of our community and take the time to learn your individual operation one-on-one. -on -one. Stop in and see us today to meet with our ag lenders to discuss your seasonal and year-round operating needs. We look forward to seeing you. Points West Community Bank, a new direction in banking. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Points West Bank in Pine Bluffs, 205 West 2nd Street. Call 245-3900. Take advantage of volume discounts during West Coast Cenex oil sale. Restock your lubricant and grease needs for 2024, and as an added bonus, earn a $50 Visa gift card with every 125 gallons of Cenex product purchased. Don't delay. These programs expire February 29th, 2024, so contact your local Westco representative today. Westco. Service. Solutions. Success. Westco's your best value through and through. Whether you need your garage door replaced or repaired, you can have peace of mind knowing that the job will be done right by Kevin and the other professionals at Wheatland Garage Door. Serving Eastern Wyoming for the past seven years with over 20 years of experience, you'll get quality workmanship, warranties for new installs, and always free estimates. For residential, commercial, and industrial doors, go to WheatlandGarageDoor.com or call them today at 307-322-2200.
They say the best offense is a good defense. This theory applies on Wyoming's roads and highways just as much as it does on the basketball court. Always no road conditions before you head out. Visit wyoroad.info, download YDOT's 511 app, or call 511 for current conditions. Buckle up every trip, every time, and put away distractions, especially your phone, so you're better prepared for the unexpected. Finally, never drink and drive, not even a little, because buzz driving is drunk driving. This message brought to you by YDOT. At Points West Community Bank, we know that agriculture is more than a business. It is a way of life. With over 94 years of experience in serving Goshen County, we understand and value the ways of our local farmers and ranchers through the quality of banking services and lending relationships. We take the time to know our customer and learn their operation firsthand. Stop in today to meet with our friendly and experienced lending staff to discuss your agricultural business needs. We look forward to seeing you. Points West Community Bank, a new direction in banking. Equal housing lender, member FDI. I see. Wynema Ingstrom CPA PC specializes in agriculture, which includes tax preparation, accounting, bookkeeping, and consulting services. Wynema and her staff also do tax preparation for corporations, partnerships, trusts, and estates. They provide a wide variety of other services that include payroll preparation, financial statement preparation, consulting, and estate planning services. Your tax and financial information are in good hands with W.S. Ingstrom CPA PC. Grant Jones, Mike McNamee, Ryan Cave back live here at Pine Bluffs High School. Pine Bluffs girls winners earlier tonight over Lust, 57 to 30. And we got a tight one here for the boys game as Lust behind most of the first half will scrape out a two point lead heading into the locker room, 25 to 23. Halftime stats brought to you by North Platte Physical Therapy. North Platte Physical Therapy committed to keeping you at the top of your game on and off the court. Marnie and her crew are on the ball, ready to help you figure out what ails you and how to get you back to your best. North Platte Physical Therapy, providing quality, professional care with a family-friendly atmosphere and always flexibility. Stop by 1301 East M Street in Torrington. Call them 532-5355. And here with Halftime Stats is Michael. Okay, thank you, Grant. Lusk uses a 17-9 second quarter to uh, take the two-point lead here at the half, 25-23, behind 14 points from Aiden Matthews. He hit three threes, is one of two at the free throw line, seven points for Corey Brueger, who is three of four at the free throw line. Those are the only two Lusk Tigers that have attempted free throws. They are four of six as a team. Two points for Ridge Kupke, Quentin Bieri also with two points. That is the scoring for Lusk. For Pine, they were led in the half by Karsten Freeberg. Freeberg with 13 points, including one three-pointer. He was four of five at the free throw line. Two points for Justin Lerwick. Two points for Sean Schmidl. Two points for Wyatt, Wyatt Carter, who was 0-2 at the free throw line. Two points for Nathan Pace and for Kate Fornstrom. Pine, as a team, goes four of seven at the free throw line. And those are your halftime stats. Should be a great second half. Don't go anywhere. We'll take a score update right now before we send it to final break here before the second half. This score update brought to you by the Bronco Grill House. When you're in the mood for a really good hamburger, why not go where you'll get the best burger in town? That is the Bronco Grill House in Torrington. Here's Ryan. Thank you, Grant. Let's take a look at 2A girls scores from today, from tonight. Up north, it was Sundance over Tongue River, 39-38. Lingle just beat Burns just next door, 67-45. In the west, it was Rocky Mountain, 50. Wind River, 46. Kimmer beats Big Piney, 33-14. And Grable takes down Shoshone, 33-20. And again, at halftime here at Pine Bluffs, It's the Lusk Tigers with the lead 25-23 on the Clark & Associates scoreboard. We'll take about a three-minute break and be back with the second half after this. Zumbrunner. 
Hoffman Angus is a family-owned Angus seed stock operation located northwest of Lusk, Wyoming. They specialize in developing progressive bulls and females to help commercial and registered cattle breeders increase productivity and profitability. Zumbrun and Angus also offers high-quality wholesale beef, further showing their efforts yield results in the pasture and on the plate. Zumbrun and Angus is a proud supporter of Lusk activities. Visit zbangus.com to learn more. This is Wade Brew, Market President with Pinnacle Bank. Pinnacle Bank has been serving the lending needs of farmers, ranchers, and commercial business owners in the Wyobraska area where we've called home for over a hundred years. Let us put our resources to work for you with local decision making from a family owned bank. Give us a call or visit us at www.wypinnbank.com. Pinnacle Bank, Torrington and Mitchell, the way banking should be, member FDIC. 14 County Tire and Lusk would like to wish the Lusk Tigers the best of luck this season. Remember 14 County Tire for all of your tire needs, oil changes, tire repair, balancing, and rotation. For fast and dependable service for all of your tire needs, it's 14 County Tire, located at 990 South Main in Lusk. And go Tigers! Tom Fornstrom and the crew would like to take this time to wish the Pine Bluffs Hornets the best of luck this season. For premium hay and alfalfa products, call 245-3674. That's 245-3674. Go Hornets! Michael and Diane Lerwick are proud supporters of the Pine Bluffs Hornets. They invite you to join them in cheering on our boys and girls basketball teams on the court this winter. Good luck Hornets from the Lerwick family. Hi, this is Levi from Banner Health Torrington Community Hospital. In order to provide better access into our facility, there will be ongoing construction with the parking lot on the south side of the campus. Patients needing to visit our orthopedic providers, podiatry, or general surgeons may use the newly completed parking area south of the medical office building. For all other patients needing outpatient testing or to visit a friend or loved one, use the north entrance until further notice. For continued updates on this project, check out our Facebook page. Banner Health Torrington Community Hospital, making healthcare easier so life can be better. The Lusk State Bank brings you this edition of Local Sports. The bank has been serving Lusk in Niobrara County for 90 years and is your full-service bank for the area. With checking, business, savings, and time deposit accounts, they're able to serve all your financial needs with decisions made locally. The Lusk State Bank is involved in community activities in Niobrara County and is a proud sponsor of school activities. Stop in today and visit with the friendly staff to take care of your financial needs. Go Tigers! Welcome back to Pine Bluffs High School, everybody. Seats are planted here. Everybody's ready for a big time second half, and that's what we should have for you here with a Lusk two point lead. Pine Bluffs ball to start the third quarter, moving right to left across the radar dial. Big steal by Bruger. Down the other end, off glass, good. Man defense here to start the half uh, for Lusk, and Bruger gets a steal. Back the other way, Schmittel with the banker. That's good. Just his fourth point, but Schmittel brings Pine back to within two. Bruger will go down to the elbow and hand to Smith. Over to Matthews. Aiden, a couple of dribbles, then backs off. Looks in the corner now for Bruger. Sizing up the Pine defense. Had a chance to drive past on it. Up top now. It'll go to Miller. Here's Bruger with it once again. Smith over to Kupke. He'll let fly a three. That's off no good. Rebound goes to Freeberg. He's on the run. Ahead it comes to Lerwick. Justin, nice pass over to Pace. We'll have to kick it out. And the jumper up by Carter. No good. Foul underneath on the rebound. I think they're going to get Lerwick. Yep. They'll get Justin Lerwick with the personal. That is his second ball back to Lusk. Bruger looking to break pressure. Crosses it to Smith. Still in the backcourt. Smith needs to get it across. He does so to Kupke. Couple of dribbles out top. Cross it now to Smith. Left side or right side on the Perimeter, in the corner goes Matthews. Lusk trying to keep it hot, back to Matthews, fakes on the three. Now Smith will dribble in, 
Kick it around to Kupke. Back to Smith. Lust taking their time on this possession. Nice backdoor look over. And the shot no good by Miller. Pine back the other way with it. Here's Lerwick. Turn around and paint up and good. Yeah, nice job stepping in and creating space there. And then hits the turnaround jumper. He has four. Kupke. As we are tied at 27 now. Smith with it right side outside. Cupkey with it left side outside. The feed down low. Bruger double team. Might have been a travel. They missed it. Smith with it. Cupkey playing catch with Smith. Smith will let fly a three. That barely draws iron. Down with it is Carter. Lusk has not shot well from the perimeter at all. Other than Matthews. Lerwick for three. That's good. Ooh, Lerwick with back-to-back -back big shots there. He has seven. Pine back in the lead now, 30 to 27. Kupke over to Bruger. Banker up. Left that one short. Miller the put back. That won't fall. Down with it as Pace has it stripped by Bruger and then a reach and a foul on Pace. Good work by the Tigers on the offensive glass there, giving themselves uh, some second chance opportunities. Pace picks up his third. That will prompt a substitution. Travis Lerwick back into the lineup. Tigers to throw it in underneath their own hoop. Bad pass, bad lead into Bruger. Had to go too far down with it. It's taken away, tapped out by Miller, but it'll stay with Pine. And first action, I believe here, Mike, for the freshman, Brady Swisher. I believe you're right. Where's number 14 for the Tigers? Lerwick, deep three. That one barely draws iron. Kupke out of there on the run with it. Tries a long lead to Matthews. It'll be kicked out of bounds by Lerwick. That's a great thought. If he can hit Matthews with that, it's going to be an easy bucket for him. But Lusk will retain possession here, trailing 30-27. to 27. Smith will throw it in on the baseline. Does so up top, Swisher. Matthews thought about three. Now Aiden will pass on it. Over to Kupke. Going to work against Lerwick. Nothing doing there. And now a travel. Matthews forgot to put the ball down on the floor, and that'll be a turnover lust. Matthews creates mismatch issue issues with Carter out there. I think you'll see him probably try and attack the basket if he can draw Carter out away from the back, uh, bucket a little bit. Smith out, Corbin Matthews in. Now here's Carter, has free reign to the hole. Scoops up a right-hander, that's up no good. And out of there with it. Well, come the Tigers. Bruger gonna drive in, tough left-hander up, that's good. Nice job, uses his length in the lane there, gets the bucket. He has 10, and it's 30 to 29, Pine Bluffs. Freeberg back the other way, skies through, and lays it up good. Cream's rising to the top, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Good play both in. Bruger will put up a short banker that's good. That was a nice shot. Actually, that was Kupke. He picks up his first, uh, fourth bucket. Back the other way. Schmidl has it stripped from him. Bruger comes out of there with it, fouled by Freeberg. Ooh, it is back and forth. Mm -hmm. It's been a fun game to watch here. Love the pace. Freeberg picks up his first personal foul. Pine with the 32-31 lead, 3.53 to go here in the third. So Lust basketball, Cupkey across the timeline, just scored that bucket a second ago. Now a travel by Corbin Matthews. We'll give it back over to Pine Bluffs. Again, the Hornets with a one point lead here, 32-31, past the midway point of the third quarter. And Freeberg hits the deck, ball loose, no whistles. It'll roll all the way to the baseline, tapped out. They're going to call a foul. I think they're going to get Bruger. Yep. Bruger will pick up his third. Unfortunate, that ball was loose, tapped around by several people there. Bruger gets the personal. Pine Bluffs ball out on the baseline. In it comes Carter. Out to Lerwick. Freeberg now right side outside at the top, Fornstrom. Couple of dribbles. Now Freeberg will burn the inline, lay it up good. Boy, 
Karsten Freeberg is fearless. Goes right at Matthews there. 34-31 Pine. Out it comes. Kopke blocked by Freeberg. And Lerwick out of there with it. Walks in the backcourt. Good presence right there by Brady Swisher to step in front of Travis Lerwick to cause the travel. 34-31 with three minutes to go here in the third. Matthews to throw it in on the far side. Does so to Brugger at the top. He'll work the right side, work his way in. Trying to scoot it over to Matthews. He'll be reached in on and fouled. And it'll be Ooh. Travis Lerwick picking up his second. I was, thought they were getting Justin Lerwick with it, but uh, the reach called on Travis his second. And Corbin Matthews to throw it in. Here's a foul away from the basketball on the inbound. And I think it'll be Wyatt Carter committing this one. They tried to run through that screen. Well, he did run through it. Bruger was setting it. So now that will send Bruger to the free throw line in the bonus, the final 254 of the quarter here. This two shot foul situation becomes kind of a big issue it here does. now. First one on the way, good. Bruger now with 12. Second one by Bruger on the way. That one's good as well. Back to a one-point lead. Bruger will get a breather as they bring Nathan Miller back into the lineup. Also Schmidt will reinsert it. One point pine lead, 244 left. Here in the third quarter, Lerwick with it at the top. Right side pass, Fornstrom. Uses a screen at the top, right back to Lerwick. Fornstrom now will dribble and try a tough banker with the right hand, off no good. Rebound comes right to him, put back good. He knew he didn't have much time. He got it quickly back up, he has four. Kupke back the other way, works his way in, and they'll see he drug the pivot foot. Turnover uh, Lusk right back to Pine with the Hornets leading by three. Tell me what Lusk is running defensively here. It looks like a 1-3-1 one, one almost. Let's check it out. It's definitely a zone. Around it comes. As Lerwick for three, that's good. Justin with his second three of the game. 10 in the contest. Aiden Matthews right side outside. Up top it comes Swisher. Couple of dribbles then backs off. Into the flex goes Lusk. And tough shot up, no good. That time by Corbin Matthews. And Pine down with it. Schmidl outside Lerwick, another three try, that's good. And Justin Lerwick is heating up and just like that it's a nine point Pine Bluffs lead. Minute and a half left here in the third. Here it comes across over to Nathan Miller. Now Kupke with it, he'll dribble in and it'll be a Pine foul away from the basketball trying to run through the screen, Justin Lerwick. Lerwick will pick up his third. Justin's been the difference here in the quarter. Three three balls in the quarter. Just had two points at the break. He now has 13. Free throws here for Nathan Miller. First one good. It's his first point. Pace back into the lineup, along with Colby Lerwick. Second one by Miller on the way, in and out and back in, good. Shooter's touch. 
Pine Bluffs 42, Lust 35. Minute 10 left here in the third quarter. Fornstrom all the way down to the baseline. Out to Freeberg, back around, Schmidl. Now pace with it at the top. Schmidl left side. Over to Colby Lerwick. Now Fornstrom with it at the top. Pine keeping it hot. Left side, Schmidl thought about the three. Now he'll drive in, get it in the corner. Freeberg will try it. That's good. Great rotation. They find Karsten Freeberg. He hits his second three. Lead now 10 points for Pine Bluffs, their biggest lead of the ball game. And now the shot up and no good by Barry. Down with it. Hornets. In the corner it goes Pace. Back to Fornstrom, gonna drive in, lay up a right hand, good. Uh, just fun to watch Cade, just a freshman, he's got six points, so quick off the dribble. Now Lusk, danger time here for the Tigers. Turn around, Barry, shot no good, then he goes over the back on the rebound. That's gonna be number four on him. A frustration foul as he had the point blank shot that wouldn't fall and then picks up the personal. 10 seconds to go here in the third. Not the corner that Ed Fulmer was looking for coming out of the locker room. Across the timeline. Here is Freeberg, spin move, layup a left hand, good at the buzzer. What a quarter for the Pine Bluffs Hornets. As we will go to the fourth and Pine has a 14 point lead. Hornets 49, Los Tigers 35. Back for the fourth after this. Blodorn Lumber in Torrington is having a huge paint sale for the month of February. Now is the perfect time to repaint that room in your house. Through February 29th, you'll get 10% off Benjamin Moore paint and get two free samples every Saturday. Benjamin Moore and Blodorn Lumber teaming up to help you spruce up your home and save 10% off all paint for the month of February. Blodorn Lumber at 219 West 21st Avenue. Sadie's Cafe in Pine Bluffs is serving up the best food in town seven days a week. They're proud to support the Pine Bluffs Hornets and all extracurricular activities. Stop by Sadie's Cafe and order up something hot. Check out their Facebook page, which is always up to date with their current specials. Go Hornets from Sadie's Cafe, located on West 5th in Pine Bluffs. Grant Jones, Mike McNamee, Ryan Cape. Here from Pine Bluffs High School. One quarter left to go. What a burst in the third by Pine. They outscore Lusk 26 to 10. Lusk had the big second quarter. Now Pine comes back with the big third. Lusk with work to do. Let's see if they can mount a comeback. If not, it will sure make things interesting as we go to tomorrow night. Brugger with it at the top. Here's Miller in the flex. The Tigers go. Aiden Matthews, spin move in pain. Hangs for the five footer, no good. Rebound, put back, up and good. Rance brought by Rance. First two points. Now here's Lerwick, left side, tries to skip it across. It'll be tapped out of bounds and stay with the Hornets. Colby Lerwick back here, or Travis Lerwick rather, back in. Getting all your Lerwick straight, aren't you? <laughs> That's right. Time to go to first names. Here's Travis working against Matthews. Shot up, no good. He'll go to the line. Foul committed. Brought. Rance will pick up his first. Travis Lerwick to the free throw line. Oh, thank you, Grant. His third. Free throw, missed everything. They're gonna give him another chance. On the way, that's no good. Rebound, fought for, controlled by Schmidl, and a timeout, Tyler Kimsey. Before his player got trapped in the corner, and we will break as well. 7.25 left, Pine Bluffs 49, lost 37 back after this. Think about how good. 
good it feels when people really get you. Like the friends who come over when a big game is on. The neighbors next door always bring your favorite buffalo dip. Your in-laws know you need silence during clutch plays. And everyone knows about your special post-win fist bump. It's kind of like having a State Farm agent like Linda Lenz. I am here to get to know you and understand your life. I can help make it easy for you to protect what's important. Get an agent that gets you and your fist bumps. Call State Farm agent Linda Lenz in Wheatland today. Also located on Main Street in Lusk. Call 334-3803. Pine basketball after the timeout by Kimsey. The Hornets lead by 12. 725 left. Here's Freeberg at the top. Reached and fouled. Brought with his fourth. Yeah, Rance brought the freshman in there doing a good job defensively, but bumps Freeberg. So second team foul. In it comes Lerwick, right back to Freeburg. Bumped a little bit there by Bruger too, but no call. Schmidl thought about three. Smartly goes back out with it as the Hornets could use some clock management here. Quick three on the way up and no good by Lerwick. Down with a Lusk. Out it comes. Matthews three on the way. That's off, no good. Rebound fought for, controlled by Schmidl. Big rebound by Schmidl. Yeah, Schmidl's done a nice job on the glass tonight. Pace across the timeline. Corner three, Lurwick in and out, no good. Rebound, Lusk. Bruger corralled it. Now stolen away by Freeberg. And a foul, Nathan Miller. Hmm. Freeberg just hounding Miller in the backcourt. Miller will pick up his third. Ball back to Pine. Freeberg to throw it in underneath the pine hoop. Out it comes to Pace in the corner. Freeberg trying to spring him loose. Well defended. Now here's Lerwick, baseline. Jumper up, got it. And Lerwick is feeling it here in the second half. His third three of the half. In the corner it goes Bruger. He'll drive in, sealed off there. Pass to Brott, off glass, no good. Rebound put back on the way up and good by Miller. Miller with his first bucket, he has four. 52 to 39, six minutes to play. Pine with the lead in the basketball. Pace at the top. Right side pass, Lerwick. Down to Freeberg, left wide open on the baseline, put it up good. Speed off the dribble, hard to match it. Matthews sealed off on his baseline drive. We'll cross it over now to Bruger. In the corner now to Miller, right back to Bruger. Wanted to let it fly, but instead goes to Cupkey. Brought with it left side outside now. Miller from the elbow passes on it and throws it away. Right in the hands of Justin Lerwick. He's on the run. Across the timeline. Stops right side, over to Pace at the top. Fakes on the three. Back to Justin, jumper on the way, off, no good. And the rebound to Miller. Bruger stuck in backcourt ahead, it comes Kopke. Has to run it down before it goes out of bounds. He'll go to the corner. Entry pass, Brutt, and offensive foul, and Brutt is done for the night. Well, I like his approach, I mean, Going to force the issue down there. Just lowered that shoulder and gets called for the offensive foul. So the freshman will foul out of the contest with two points. So it'll be Jackson Smith back in. Pine basketball out on the player control. And a little bit of pressure now by Ed Fulmer's squad. Here's Freeberg with it at the top. He'll break it. Goes to Fornstrom. Cade, couple of dribbles, has a wide open lane. Put up a right hand, no good. Put back up as well, no good by Carter. And a quick timeout taken by Tyler Kimsey. He didn't like where that one was headed, did he? Yeah. Got a lot of shots at it, but it was a little helter-skelter. 4.36 left. The Pine lead is still big. 15. 
54 to 39, last chance here now for the Les Tigers to remain in control of the conference. And we'll be back after this. Pine Bluffs offers the best professional medical care for your animals. Whether livestock or personal pets, you can count on quality of care that your animals deserve. When it comes to ensuring recovery from surgical or non-surgical treatments, Dr. Shane, Nicodemus, Young, and Tanner utilize the latest in care technology as they know how much your pet means to you. For complete vet care, call Bluffs Vet Clinic at 245-9263. Fornstrom will throw it in for Pine Bluffs. Up top now to Solis. First action for Asus. Getting a little bit of time up there. Fornstrom left side outside. Now here's Carter, thought on the three. Instead goes to Freeburg for three, that's good. And that might be ball game. Yep, 18 point lead, biggest of the night for either team. Ruger right side outside, still plenty of time I guess. But Lusk would need near a miracle to claw all the way back in this one. Bruger has it at the top, pass underneath, and a reach and a foul, Cade Fornstrom I believe. Correct, that is Cade's first. On the floor so the ball will go out of bounds to Lusk. In it comes Bruger, quick right-hander up, Banker, good. In traffic, nice job by Bruger to finish. 57-41, long lead down the floor. Somehow, Freeburg controlled it and reverses it up good. Got a nice screen out there from Lurwick, too. Here's a long three try on the way, no good by Corbin Matthews. It'll be batted out of bounds and they'll whistle a foul underneath. Gonna be on Karsten Freeburg. This game has a tournament pace to it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. They're getting ready for next week. Courses we've alluded to, Class 2A East Regionals hosted by Burns, but they'll play a round of first games here at Pine Bluffs High School as well. Ruger free throw, no good. Second one, good. Timeout, Ed Fulmer. We will break as well. Threes across the time board here. Clark and Associates scoreboard. 333 left. Pine Bluffs 59, lost 42. Back after this. As the season. Seasons change, so do our banking needs. At Points West Community Bank, we have the experienced staff to help you year-round. From planting in the spring, growing in the summer, and harvest in the fall, we have you covered. Our local ag officers specialize in the agricultural needs of our community and take the time to learn your individual operation one-on-one. -on -one. Stop in and see us today to meet with our ag lenders to discuss your seasonal and year-round operating needs. We look forward to seeing you. Points West Community Bank, a new direction in banking. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Points West Bank in Pine Bluffs, 205 West 2nd Street. Call 245-3900. Decker's Market and Lusk prides themselves on helping you stock the kitchen with food to nourish the whole family. With quality meat, produce, everyday ingredients, supplies, and more, Decker's Market is here to fill your grocery list. Visit their website, deckersmarket.com, and view the savings and discounts available. Decker's Market and Lusk, a proud sponsor of Lusk Activities. Pine basketball after the timeout. Trying to get it across the timeline, Fornstrom will. Works it all the way down. Now Solis for three. Got it! Just into the lineup. That is his first bucket, a three ball. 32-42. Pine by 20. Three ball up and no good. And Fortstrom with the rebound underneath. He's fouled by Swisher. That will send Cade Fortstrom to the free throw line. In the bonus the rest of the way. It's looking to be a Pine Bluff sweep here tonight in our final regular season broadcast. Listen, throughout the early part of the week here, we'll get you nailed down on all our start times for 2A and 1A East Regionals. 
1A will start as well on Thursday in Laramie. Free throw no good by Fordstrom. Second one good, 63-42. In the corner, Aiden Matthews, quick three up. Can't get that one to go. Shot's not falling now for the Tigers. Down with it is Schmidl. And Swisher with the steal. Schmidl taps his shot away. And now Fordstrom handles in the backcourt. Here's Lerwick across the timeline. Three on one. Carried the basketball, no call. Schmidl with it, back up top, Cade Fornstrom. And a reach and a foul, Kupke. This game has been just kind of a crazy tale of two halves here. Pine has shot the ball so well here in the second half. Five or six three balls here in the half. Cade Fornstrom will go back to the free throw line. Personal foul was on Kupke. That's number one on him. Free throw off the back of the iron, no good. It'll be Justin Lerwick back into the ball game. And taking a seat of Solis, making the most of his time while he was in there, drilled a three. Fordstrom free throw, got it. 64 to 42, Karsten Freeberg back in the contest. Now for Pine Bluffs, lost basketball, length of the floor to come. 2.39 left. Ahead it comes, Swisher. Back to Smith, around it goes Matthews. Aiden the big drive, tries a pass across, tapped out by Carter. Lust just needs to finish this game, do some things to feel better about their offense. Big game coming for them tomorrow. They have one left tomorrow? Uh, they are done conference-wise, not sure if they have a game tomorrow out of conference or not. There's a push and a foul on the part of Travis Lerwick underneath that will give Lust the ball back. Just the third team foul here in the fourth quarter. Timeout, Ed Fulmer. 218 will take one with him. It's going to be a Pine Bluff sweep here tonight. Pine Bluffs High School, your boys score 218 left, 64 to 42. We'll be back after this. Domino's carryout deal means you can carry out one topping pizzas for $7.99 each when you order online or by phone. Just in case there's any confusion, we've even set up a helpful website to confirm if today is a day you can carry out one topping pizzas for $7.99 each. Just go to howabouttoday.com to find out if Domino's carryout deal is valid today. Spoiler alert, it is. Carry out only. Ask for this offer. Availability and charges may vary. Size availability varies by crust type. Excludes XL and specialty. Your local store may charge extra for some toppings and sauces. When it's time to spray your fields, it's time to call the expert in commercial ag spraying. That's Cox Build Company, featuring the widest booms in the market. This means fewer tracks in the field. Cole Cox Bill will stand behind his work as the best in the industry. Cole can spray your fields and can source chemical for you. Give Cole a call today with Cox Bill Company, 575-2147. Tigers to throw it in, Swisher with it. Now Kupke will hand to Smith. He'll work his way in the paint, and three ball on the way. Aiden Matthews, not close. Rebound volleyballed around and controlled now by Justin Lerwick. It's Travis Lerwick now in the backcourt, and he'll be reached in on and fouled by Corey Brugger. This Lust team not gonna quit. Brugger will pick up his fourth. That will send Travis Lerwick to the free throw line. This will drop the Tigers to four and two. Class 2A Southeast. Pine Bluffs will move to four and one. So technically they're in the lead. We'll see how Lingle and Burns wind up tonight. Yeah, I'd hate to be the statistician that has to figure out that three-way log jam that could very easily happen. Free throw's no good. Lust back the other way with it. Brueger all the way in. Puts up a tough one. That won't go. Freeberg down with it. Burns down the court. Over to Justin Lerwick. Drives baseline. Stuck there. Puts it up. Good. Justin Lerwick's had a huge second half. Very 
He got 17 points, doesn't he? Yeah. Cup key. Long three try. That won't fall. Swisher out of there with it. Another chance for Brueger. That's good. Nice job by Corey Brueger. Like I said, he's not going to quit. 66-45, and a foul on Swisher in the backcourt. The freshman Swisher will pick up his second. That will send Karsten Freeberg to the free throw line. He's had a decent night. Trying to pick up his 30th point right here. Yeah, not bad. He's done it in a variety of ways, too. Three threes in there. Does have 30 now with the first free throw. It's five of six at the free throw line. We're going to start getting some subs in. As Burkhofer, the senior who started the ball game here on senior night, back in there. Freeburg, second one, good. Going to get him out of the contest. He will finish the night with 31 points. Solis back in there for Pine Bluffs. <coughs> also Fornstrom. And... Stoppage of play, now ready to roll here in a minute 15. 68-45. Smith with the three, that's good. Wow, nice shot there by Smith. His second three, I believe. Nope, first bucket. Now here's Pace. Needs some help. Burkhofer working it down on the low block, kick it back out to Pace. Here's Carter at the top, 45 seconds left. Carter, banker up, good. Somehow got that one to go over Matthews. Tough angle, defended well, and he's still got it to go. Brueger for three, that's off, no good. Rebound, Burkhofer. And reached in on and fouled by Brueger. Brueger is gone. Brueger will foul out of the contest with. Oh, check it. It's gonna go on Swisher, they say. Oh, so Brueger hangs on by the skin of his teeth here. He was headed to the bench. I think he thought he was done. So Burko for a chance to get in the scoring column. Got it. Feel good story for the senior right there. You think he's a crowd favorite? Kind of the biggest cheer we've heard tonight. Mm-hmm. Second one, that's off, no good. Rebound fought for, controlled by Matthews. Brueger across the timeline, all the way in the corner, Kopke lets a three fly, that's short. Lusk gets the rebound, Smith will try it, that's off, no good. Gets his own rebound, put back, Banker, that's off, no good. Solis down with it, he's fouled by Swisher. 12 seconds to go, 71-48. Swisher's had about enough of this. He's going to go ahead and foul out. He's got four. So it'll send Jesus Solis to the line for the Hornets. First trip there tonight. First one got it. Hit a three earlier, so that gives him four. More subs coming for Tyler Kimsey here for the last 12 seconds. They'll get Burkhofer out and Pace out. Colby Lerwick back in there. That was the tight end on their football team. Burkhofer was. He's a big boy. Wouldn't want to see him coming at you. No. Free throw good, 73. 48. Here's Smith with six seconds. Shot not close. Rebound tapped out of bounds. And it'll go to Pine Bluffs. The Hornets, a big victory here tonight in Lust's final Class 2A quadrant game. Pine gets the big victory. And they keep their own destiny in their own hands for a number one seed to the regional tournament. Final score, 
Pine Bluff 73. Lust Tigers 48. Back for stats and a wrap up after this. I'm Maggie Myers, your Torrington Edward Jones Financial Advisor. We're all about financial investments, but we also value the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. That's why Edward Jones is proud to cheer on our area teams on KGOS KERM. Call 532-3431 or visit edwardjones.com for all your investment needs. Edward Jones, member SIPC. The Niobrara County Chamber of Commerce is proud of our students who participate in team sports and all other extracurricular activities. We wish the Tigers the best of luck on the court this winter. For more information about the town of Lusk and the Chamber, go to visit lusk.weebly.com or call 307-334-2950. Go Tigers! The entire staff at Farmer State Bank in Pine Bluffs would like all Pine Bluffs athletes to know that they support you and wish you the best of luck this season. Farmer State Bank invites you to stop in for all of your banking needs. Farmer State Bank is located at 103 East 2nd Street in Pine Bluffs. Again, Farmer State Bank wishes all Pine Bluffs athletes good luck and supports you every step of the way. Go Hornets! Pine Bluffs defends a home court tonight. A sweep by the girls and the boys. As the Pine Bluffs boys just a couple minutes ago have defeated the Lust Tigers 73 to 48. End of the game wrap up brought to you by number 34. The importance of mental health has never been more prevalent, especially when it comes to, to the youth in our area. Shad and the crew at number 34 have been serving our area youth for over 15 years. They're currently looking for a family care coordinator and a family support partner. Call 532-0134 to learn more about employment opportunities. And with the game wrap-up, here's Mike. Thank you very much, Grant. For Lusk, first of all, they were led in scoring by Corey Brueger with 19 points. He was 6 of 8 at the free throw line. 14 points for Aiden Matthews. He was 1 of 2 at the free throw line. Three points for Jackson Smith. Four points for Nathan Miller, who was two of two at the line. Four points for Ridge Kupke. Two points for Quentin Berry and Rance Brott. Lusk as a team shot nine of 12 at the free throw line. They fall to 15 and six on the season and they will finish Southeast Quadrant play at four and two. For Pine Bluffs, they were led by Karsten Freeberg. 31 points for Freeberg. He was six of seven at the free throw line. He hit three three-point field goals. Justin uh, Lerwick chips in with 18. 16 of those coming in the second half, including four three-point field goals. Four points for Sean Schmidl. Four points for Wyatt Carter, who was 0 of 2 at the free throw line. Nathan Pace with two. Cade Fornstrom off the bench. Two points for, or eight points for him. He was two of four at the free throw line. Jesus Salas. With five points, he was two of two at the line. And Mitchell Burkhofer had one point. He was one of two at the free throw line. Pine as a team shoots 11 of 21 at the line. They improved to nine and 12 on the year. And more importantly, they moved to four and one in Southeast Quadrant play. One of two things is going to happen. Either Pine's going to go to Lingle tomorrow night and win the quad outright, or we're going to have a log jam at the top. Yeah, one of the two. Could very easily be a three-way log jam right at the top. Again, your girls score tonight. Pine Bluffs wins that one as well, 57 to 30. So that will do it for us, and that'll do it for our regular season Kerm Seawack Game of the Week broadcast. Been nice having you alongside uh, all season long. Get all set for tournament play. Want to send big thanks up uh, back up to the studios, Chris and Randy. Uh, for their hard work throughout the season and especially tonight. So for Ryan Kaye, Mike McNamee, Grant Jones, sending you off into a Wyoming weekend here, your final score. Pine Bluffs boys beat the Lust boys, 73 to 48. Back to the studios at Kerm FM. Have yourselves a great weekend, everybody. We'll talk to you from Burns next week for regionals.